Hey guys, so this is the part three of the game today. We're surrounded by a lot of uh, dead meat. Okay, what should we do? What we are doing now? Look, they're moving is so weird. Take that and that and that. Did he just talk? Shoot the Yeah, you're gonna die. Evil talking. Okay, cutscene, I like it. Running real low, Chess. Kinda busy here, Edgar. Whoa, nice. Well, I'm about that. Ooh, wow, that's. Jesus, how many did she send after us? Oh, oh. Nice move, man. Sun, the sun will burn them. Out of lightning? Good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve. Are you gonna turn? Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think he's breathing. Calico, it's around the corner. There's a doctor there. I don't like this option. Protocol Epsilon. Sit down and roll up your sleeve. I feel he's gonna turn. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. engineer Virgil Virgil only it's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh uh, sir your gauntlet is a thing of beauty only you know we, what do we need could... we need, need swords also yesterday I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel sir time travel 
time travel they know it from the old time i'm just kidding they of course they thinking about it from the game pissed off little highborn looking for her maker's head no one could have predicted that i don't think she did all that but just tell you the truth we don't have a time travel in this 2022 yet more from this felicity tick pretty soon i'm gonna check if amelia needs some backup with harrow who do i have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly fuck to get some coffee around here what a day see you in the briefing room so we have electric in our hand okay need to check on my gauntlet first there must be a workshop somewhere around hello greeting mr harrow is waiting for you in the briefing room sir yeah yeah i heard that already upgrade and the character if I don't want to see that that's the evil okay. your goddamn gilded invitation i expected champagne and cash. one of this thing in this game is it's very hard to say you have to finish the mission to say slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies now the entire country is left unprotected while i stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot Oh boy, so again, too much bad words. Someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the capital that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll take care of it, sir. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trapping, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival. She's a drinker. Institute, as well See. as its very best engineer. We are Not your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk. First thing, doctor. Hmm. And who the fuck are you? In the West, um, not too much doctor woman. <sighs> oh, a, woman a woman doctor. Wait a I'm the best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible, before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Harrow can suck my... How bad is it? Well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Fried? We have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. Mm, we ain't what? got that long. We have one to take down few hours. city character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. She will come to you. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. And reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. We chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top sanguisuge expert to investigate. I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute Sanguisuge Best. Oh my God. Soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. So, not yet we drive, I mean driving? <laughs> I mean riding a horse. So, we cannot ride a horse. So, it's not... Um, open world game it's like if it's open world game we can go back and there we have a map we can go to the shop we fix things and we buy things and then come back here hmm. we don't have that in this game 
So if you're looking for a world or, or open world game, that's not the game you're looking for. If you're looking for a game to as uh, a cowboy and like uh, override, uh, so this is the game for you. Override over uh, rider over anything is third person shooter. I like this scene, you know, um, I'm in the place, so we're not going to see it again if we finish this part, you know, so just look at it and it's beautiful, landscape, so beautiful. What is that sound? Bloom, what did you walk into? You walk into the maze. Four to four cents. How about that? Nice. You like that? You're working with the devil. How much is the devil buying you? This species appears to possess shape shifting abilities. Oh, wow. Uncommon for the typical. We have a shape shifter also. Are you shape shifting? You did. Shape shifter. Hmm. What the heck? A werewolf. Okay. What the hell is this thing? It's a werewolf. Werewolf and uh, okay, we're not going that way or this way or that way. Oh, the collision! Oh boy, <laughs> his leg is moving. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we're going. Down to the canyon? Okay. Let's see. Ooh, let's check this beauty out. Nice.
So third part now we have a glitch. First part we have a glitch. I'm almost there. I did. Are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. totally dead. Fucking great. Gotta find another way. Hope I'll find some trace of Bloom. Get the rocks ready. Get in place, assholes. Wait for my signal. Ready. Oh no. Are you from? Oh, oh, don't get hit from that guy. Hell yeah. I'm gonna die if, uh, if I don't in the head. This canyon is protected like some kind of vault. What are yep. they hiding here? Why can I take it? Maybe I'm full? Maybe. So heavy. God, it's heavy. Yep. More money, huh?
You are dead me. So this creature can be even in the daytime, the flying creature. Another glitch. Another dead man. Research continues, but nothing I've seen explains the unusual capabilities of this curious animal. Judging by the diameter of the tunnels it creates, I estimate it stands at least eight feet tall and is uh -oh. quite powerful. Uh oh. There's a lot of dead uh, people. Oh, see, this is the same. Uh oh. Must be huge. Might be that thing Bloom was looking for. Feels good. Or something, but I don't know what is it. Oh, this is the big guy. Hey, I have good news for you.
Come on. down uh oh did that piss you off oh I can kill this guy Come on, come on, stay down. Take that. Nice. Let's see about level up. Thank you. 
flying creatures most disturbing. Okay. They appear in large numbers, protecting the newly transformed. Uh oh. What the heck is it? Where the heck did it go? Whoa, there's a lot of people dead. Yeah, looks like I'm getting closer to its nest. Ugh, what a stench. Whoa. What is this now? Yeah, you cannot be alone, huh? I'm gonna die like this. Take that, you beast. Christ, it's nothing like anything I've killed before. E ugly. Who's talking? Bloom? Is that you down there? Uh, yes, 
it's, it's me, but who are... Whoa, you're Jesse Renier, sir. Splendiferous. You still alive. Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, no. uh, well, I was sent here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. When I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars, apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail, securing mm. a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from the Callum sawmill. No, we need to check that place out. Uh, yeah, we should leave that behind. They're evil. <laughs> what the heck? you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be Your dad is evil. They infected him? No. No fucking way. Jess, hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Morapass? That plan that was supposed to be a base. Well, give him a garlic if he's. Um, I'm not gonna give uh, my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. And no one asks you to. But if I fail... You and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William. Just in case I don't make it back in time. Sure. Crazy place. That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for se until recently. The Sanguisuge reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow but effective process. Now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. Well, they're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards, mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is De Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Hmm. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, 
Why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi. Uh, holy moly, where are my notes? Mm. As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. Uh, diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, but what? Never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But, if we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well... Maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? In... Got over reports there. about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Birch? Just look for a miniaturized electrical resonance. Okay, transport. okay, that's not gonna work. Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. I'll go down first to clear the way. Try not to get killed or Blackwell skin me alive. Right. Roger that, Mr. Jesse. Okay, so this is snowing or what? Okay. Alrighty. Okay, we're gonna stop here for a while.